Hey everyone, Technometry here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to review iOS 18.2 on the iPhone XS. So let's get started. So some of the features of iOS 18.2 that you're going to get is going to be around uh, UI changes. We're going to notice the change in the photo app. You'll see a redesign, new collection, customization that's going on, which you can take a look at here. The other things you're going to notice is mail, a redesign of the app here. I don't have mail signed in, but you're going to see a categorization that's possible with the new update as well. Another update you're going to see is in the actual downloading. So whenever you're downloading files or media, you can even go move away and you see the progress on the lock screen here, which I don't have the option to see here, something you'll see as well. So those are going to be some of the updates you're going to see, just the customization that comes through with it. Now, things like layered voice memo, you're not going to see those available. You're not going to see Apple intelligence tools like Image One, Image Playground, Gemojis, Visual Intelligence, ChatGPT integration. Those features are not going to be available. If you look at the Siri here, it's just going to be your basic Siri like it was. So Apple intelligence tools, again, are not available unless you have iPhone 16 lineup or the 15 Pro or the 15 Pro Max. So of course, this update does have 20 or so security fixes that are important for the update. So if you're thinking about you should upgrade or not if you're already on ios 18 any of the dot version 18.2 is the most stable version so you want to make sure you update it to 18.2 or a newer version as now they have fixed a lot of the bug fixes now another thing you're going to look at is probably going to be the battery life on 18.2 here i have a phone that needs of course service because the battery health degraded but we've seen the battery to be stable on this phone hasn't seen any major draining or dying really fast, which seems to be the issue when you initially upgraded to the earlier version of iOS 18, like 18.0.1, 18.1, those versions seemed like it wasn't fixed, but now it seems to be much stable. I haven't seen any issues with it. Another thing is the performance here. I do see a little bit of slowness or lag, if you will, on the UI when upgrading to 18.2, and that's with 18. Not in general. It's an older phone, so there's a lot of changes, and it might just be a normal thing. Again, it depends on your user experience, how fast you're looking for it. I use the newer phones, which allow to kind of go ahead and see that they're much faster. Maybe that's kind of being a little bit biased, but you see here, for the most day-to-day -day stuff, daily tasks, even multitasking, again, still holds up pretty well in terms of scrolling, browsing, going on your favorite apps. All of that is still possible. And the iPhone XS, Again, a great phone still to use in 2025 if you still have it and don't think about upgrading for those features like upgraded cameras or battery life. Again, the 10s still gets you by pretty well. But with 18.2, again, stable release so far from our experience, but I want to hear from you. What's your thought if you use 18.2, uh, if you upgraded to it? Leave a comment in the comment section. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, for more reviews like this, make sure to like and subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.